Hey there YouTube, it's Fireside Deadly here today, showing you an achievement guide for the achievements on Ensemble Cast and stand in for the new zombie map Call of Dead. First thing you want to do is turn on the power and then uh, go down to the vault room which is below the lighthouse. The first thing you want to make sure of is you listen to every single word of the cutscenes or else you won't get the achievement. But yeah, okay, so first of all you knife this, the uh, vault there and they'll start talking to you and they're talking about how uh, they need a fuse because the light's blown inside the vault and they can't see. So you walk up the stairs here, and the fuse will be in three positions. Well, there's mine right there on this table. It could be on this table right here, or it could also be in this filing cabinet. To pick it up, you just hold down X. And you walk down here, you put the fuse into the fuse box, and then you wait for the cutscene. And they'll talk and talk and talk and talk. And then, well, George came down. <laughs> we had to get rid of him, but uh, anyways. They're going to tell them that it's still not working, so you got to blow up the four generators. They look like this. There's, uh, they're scattered around the map. you got to blow them up with the grenades, Semtex, or the crossbow works, I believe. The ray gun doesn't. I don't know about the scavenger. We haven't tried it. But anyways, when you blow it up, the light goes out, and then, uh, yeah, they're, that's how you get rid of them. But uh, anyways, there's that one. The next one is in the boathouse. It's uh, I made a wrong turn there. It's over here in this window right here. You make sure you cook your grenades because if they land in the water, they uh, blow up and it won't uh, blow up the generator and then you get mad and waste all your grenades and yeah, be like me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there's that one. And then uh, I went to my grenades. So my friend uh, Godlike Talents here will get this one on the boat. Uh, this is right the, on the floor below or two below the power, right when you come up the stairs. There's a the generator there. He misses the first one. But the second one, he blows it up. And the seal will probably have this problem, so you're going to have to uh, go get some grenades or Semtex or whatever. But uh, yeah, you go to the bow of the ship, you open that door there, and the Semtex are right here on this wall. So I bought some, and then the fourth and final generator is right here. Uh, it's beside the pathway to get here. It's right there, that red blinking light, you can see it. Somehow I hid it from this far away. I don't know how that happens, but uh, I hid it anyways. So I, as you can see, I'm like, what the hell, how do I hit that? But anyways, yeah. So you go back to the people and you talk to them. And they're going to talk and talk and talk. And then you hear Nikolai saying that he needs his vodka. And the vodka can spawn in four different locations on the map. Uh, there's one by the um, right beside where this third generator is. Uh, it's up on a ledge. You'll see it there. Anyways, you'll find there. I'm sure you can find a tutorial about where they are because uh, I didn't have enough time to show you guys where they are in this one. But anyways, in this case, the uh, vodka is right here, and uh, it's right when you come up the doors. And uh, you got to knock it down, and the other person has to catch it. If it hits the ground, it breaks. So here we go. I'm knifing it, and Godlike's talent catches it, and now he's gonna run back over here. But uh, if you drop it, the vodka will respawn. So don't worry, you can get it again. But yeah, you put the vodka in that little tube right there. He's pressing X and it's uh, not going in there for some reason, but uh, there it goes. So and then we sit here again and wait for the cutscene, blah, blah, blah. They're going to talk about how they need the golden rod and all this other stuff. And uh, basically, um, yeah. But here we go. This one's the locker combinations. This took me like half an hour to do. It was retarded, so I'm just going to tell you how you do it because I don't have the video of how you do it in exact chronological order. Okay, so you go to the top floor, which is the yellow dial, and you turn that one until it's a 2. And then you go down to the third floor, which is the blue dial, and you turn that one until the orange dial on the third floor is at 7. So then you go down to the bottom floor, which is the purple floor, and you turn that dial till it's a 6. Then you go back up to the blue dial and turn that till it's a 4. And then you go up to the fourth floor and you turn the yellow dial until it's a 2. So you end up yellow 2, orange 7, blue 4, and purple 6. It's uh, kind of confusing, but certain dials affect other floors and blah, blah, blah. But anyways, that's the order you have to do it in. If uh, you don't do it in that order, well, I'm sure there's other ways, but uh, I found that one was the easiest. But uh, yeah, then you go down here and you talk to them again, and you listen to the cutscene, and blah, blah, blah. And then they're going to be talking, but then you got to go find these radios. And this radio is right below the power room. Their mystery box spawns right there on the left. But yeah, you just press X on the radios. The radios have to be done in this order, or else it won't work. So there's that radio. The other one's in the boathouse, where I made that wrong turn earlier. And then the third one is right before the Semtex. I actually passed it right here for some, I forget why. But uh, anyway, yeah, it's right here in between these barrels in the wall. You got to press X, and there's that one. And then the fourth one is actually in the vault room under the stairs. There's Godlike Towns here teabagging. <laughs> 
Yeah, there's the uh, last radio right here. You hear this beeping noise. You can probably hear it. And then this light right here will be, there will be a yellow light flashing. And that, I don't know, that's a Morse code. I don't know what it says, but uh, yeah. Anyways, then you got to go to the power room. And uh, there's these switches here. You got to turn the left one once. And then the right one three times. Yeah, garlic talent shot me the scavenger. But <laughs> yeah, so the one on the right all the way down, the one on the left, one up. Then you got to turn this wheel so the dark handle is at 5 o'clock. So you turn it twice, so it's right there, 5 o'clock. Then you'll hear, uh, wait, you don't hear anything for this one, but, uh, oh yeah, you do, I think you do. You hear like a foghorn, and uh, like a submarine comes up, and a bunch of stuff. Then there's these foghorns that you gotta hit, and that one right there is actually, that's the first foghorn that you gotta hit. This one right here is the third foghorn, and then the one right here, when you get on the slide on the right in the water, is the second foghorn, and then the last one right there, that's the uh, second one, and the fourth one is right there, and you gotta hit them in that order or else it won't work. So Godlink Towns is gonna go ahead, he hit the first one, right now, I'm gonna hit this one, and he's gonna hit the third one, and then I'm gonna hit the fourth right there. And if you've done this all right, there's gonna be a green light that going up to the lighthouse, and uh, there will be a green beam going up the center of the lighthouse. I'll show it here to you in a sec. Yeah, see this green beam? That You need that to be there. If that's there, you've done it right. And the next thing you got to do is you got to get the VR-11. It doesn't have to be upgraded. but And then you need a good gun. And of course, I have the FAL here, so I'm going for a gun. I'm like, yeah, come on, come on. And of course, Teddy Bear, because that's how the box is. <laughs> But uh, I already had the human gun, but I was just trying to get a better one because when you shoot the zombie, he's going to turn into a human and he's going to run up and he's going to go into that green light and he's going to be like abducted uh, by the aliens, like the same way uh, George did. And then you got to kill him before he gets up there to get the golden rod. So uh, yeah, anyways, I got the box and I got a G11, so I'm like, ah, well, I don't know how this is going to go, but uh, we didn't know. But uh, when you kill him, like, we don't, we couldn't tell if you kill him, like, I don't know, he's, like, flailing his arms, all of a sudden he stopped, we didn't know that we killed him, but, uh, here we go right here, we shoot him, he's, uh, he, Jerry's unloading with the RPK here, I'm f unloading with the G11, and, uh, he's alive, he's freaking out, he's actually dead right there, but we don't know, so we're just shooting him continuously, just spraying him, and he hits him with a scavenger shot, and uh, we don't know, but the crawler, well, like, he dies, we didn't know, like, we didn't, like, the round didn't end, and then when he finally gets up to the top, he gets up there, and the round ends. So we're on wave 8 now, and there's zombies coming. I have a G11 with, like, no ammo. There's zombies coming, so we're freaking out. We're mad because, uh, as far as I know, if you don't kill him, you can. Uh, you have to redo it. You can't uh, go the next round and kill him. That's what we thought. So I'm mad right now. We're mad. We're... <laughs> swearing and yelling and whatnot but uh so here we are finishing this round with a huge horde of zombies just, no, actually there's not that many but uh yeah wait, anyways we finished this round and jerry's down there he's going for the box and he finds it he's like what is this thing right here but this is actually the golden rod i guess we like we did kill him but we didn't know so you press x and you pick it up and uh then you bring it down to the vault room and you put it in the chute where you put the vodka and then you hear them talking and talking, and they'll say, oh, I got the thing, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And there's, like, a long cutscene. They talk and talk and talk and talk. And then we're sitting here, sitting here, and I'm pretty sure uh, George comes down. And, uh, pretty sure. And, uh, Godlike like Talents gets him out of there for me so I can finish the rest of this. Uh, we're just waiting, listening to that stupid cutscene. It sucks you have to listen to them all. Like, we, this is our fourth time doing this video because... We'd like miss the cutscene, like we'd come down here and talk, and then we'd leave and didn't know, and then we'd end up not getting it, or like one of us had leg out, and stupid internet, and blah blah blah. But yeah, so here's George coming down, and Godlike Towns is going to get him out of here. We uh, had a struggle with that. But they tell you the fuse box is broken, and they want another fuse. So you just have to knife it, and it actually fixes the fuse. Then uh, you go to wait, late, or wait, sorry, sit there for the other cutscene, and there it is, the achievement stand in. You get a Wonder Waffle for the Death Machine, and whenever you kill George, you get the Wonder Waffle instead of a Death Machine. But you can't change your guns so while you have it. You have, like, 18 shots, I think it is. Whatever. But, uh, yeah, so there's the other one. Ensemble cast, right there. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. We'll have more tutorials coming soon.
Thanks.